backpackers. I am, I'm here at school. I'm wishing you were here. I really miss you. So we'll start with the good morning song. Hello, Alex. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Flynn. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Leah. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Kai. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Katie. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Morgan. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Nora Jo. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Parker. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, PJ. How are you? I really do miss you. Hello, Sienna. How are you? I really do miss you. Good morning, backpackers. Let's start with a prayer of the day. Five fingers here, five fingers there. Put them together. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day and thank you for taking care of all my friends and family. And I hope you are finding things to keep busy. If you would like to add anything else to the prayer, please do so. Amen. Now we're going to do the days of the week. Today we're going to do nod, nod. One, two, three. Days of the week, nod, nod. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, nod, nod. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, nod, nod. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday, followed by Friday and Saturday. Today we're going to make binoculars and we'll need two toilet paper rolls. We'll need a hole puncher, scissors, yarn if you'd like, and either glue or a stapler, and some crayons or stickers to decorate. So the first step is, I like to make holes on the side. And then you can either glue it, and you glue across from the hole, so not this side, but the little hole on the other side. Let's see if the glue comes out. Sometimes your glue bottle creates a little layer of dry glue and it doesn't not let it out. So here's my hole and I'm going to put glue on the opposite side. So I'm going to put a little thin layer. And then I'm going to glue the opposite side. And if you don't have any glue, you can use a stapler, and that one does not fit. So we'll use this stapler. Let's see if this one works. It smushed my binoculars a little bit. But maybe you have a smaller stapler at home. And if that doesn't work, you can always get tape and tape the ends together. Because sometimes you don't have a stapler and sometimes you don't have glue. And I know Flynn, Flynn loves tape. So here are my binoculars. Now you can use markers or crayons to make some designs on it. Or 
you can use stickers to decorate it. And I've never, I've never used gloves with stickers. I wonder how that will work out. Not too bad. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, so here, my binoculars are ready. And I would like to take them outside. So I'm going to get some yarn. And I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to thread it through my little hole that I made right there. And then if you don't know how to tie, that's okay. You can have your mom or your dad or an older sibling help you. So that side is tied. Now I'm going to get the other end and stick it through the other little hole. And once again, I'm going to tape it, I mean, tie it there. And now I have binoculars. And let's see, I wonder what I could see. Do you know what I see? I see Miss Alexa filming me. Now we will do zoo phonics and you follow along with me. Alley alligator is the letter A, A. Bubba bear is the letter B, B. Katina Cat is the letter C, K. Dee Dee Deer is the letter D, D. Ellie Elephant is the letter E, A. Francie Fish is the letter F. Gordo Gorilla is the letter G. G. Honey horse is the letter H. Any inchworm is the letter I. A. Jerry jellyfish is the letter J. J. Kale kangaroo is the letter K. Everyone's favorite. Get ready. Lizzie Lizard is the letter L. Ooh. Missy Mouse is the letter M. Mmm. Nigel Nido is the letter N. N. Olive Octopus is the letter O. O. Pee Wee Penguin is the letter P. Quinny Quail is the letter Q. Qu Robbie Rabbit is the letter R. R Sammy Snake is the letter S. S Timmy Tiger is the letter T. T Umber Umbrella Bird is the letter U. Uh. Vincent of the Vampire Bat is the letter V. And remember that your lower lip tickles when you say it. Mmm. Willie Weasel is the letter W. W. Xavier Fox is the letter X. X. Yancy Yak is the letter Y. Yeah. And Zeke the zebra is the letter Z. Remember, Zeke waited all the way to the end and he fell asleep and said Zzz. Today's letter is the letter I. Any inchworm is the letter I. I. And in the classroom, I found an iguana. Iguana starts with I. What can you find in your house that starts with the letter I? Today's song is Make New Friends, and it goes like this. Make new friends. 
Today's story is How to Dress a Dragon. The author is Thelma Lynn Godin, and the picture, the illustrator is Eric Barkley. Look at all those underwear. Which is your favorite? How to Dress a Dragon. Oh, look, there's underwear in that house. I better check my chimney to see if there aren't any underwear hanging there. If you have to dress a dragon, you must be prepared to catch him as he flies by. Oh, look, the little boy has a long net. You may have to tickle tackle him to the floor to give him a belly kiss. Once your dragon is still, it will be time to put on his underwear. Oh, look at those orange polka dotted underwear. The good thing is dragons love underwear, especially froggy superhero ones. Those are kind of cute. Silly dragon, do they go in your head? Ha, he, he, ho, ha, ha. Oh, he put him on the little boy's head. You might have to sit saddle your dragon to put on his socks. Dragons have very ticklish toes. Silly dragon. Oh, look, he put him on his head, on his little horns. Dragons do not like shirts with buttons. Oh, look, he popped the buttons off. Dragons do not like shirts that pull over their heads. Oh, look, he's having a hard time putting it on, and it only got to his head. Oh, he worked so hard. Dragons do not like shirts. Hmm. But they do like capes. There he goes, flying. Dragons prefer shorts instead of pants. Shorts are much easier to put on with big dragon feet. Please, dragon, don't scratch your toes. Shoes can be tricky. But if you let your dragon wear his froggy boots, he will be very happy. So tie shoes were tricky. Oh, look, he's clapping. Dragons are very picky about hats. They will only wear ones that fit nicely between their horns. Oh, that's the perfect hat for him. When your dragon is all dressed, he will want to go outside and play. He has his hat, his cape, his shorts, and his underwear, and his froggy boot. I think he's ready. But beware, if he wants to play his favorite game of dragons and knights, your dragon will insist on being the silly knight. Oh, look, he got a knight costume, and the little boy is wearing a dragon costume. And that was a good day for the dragon. The end. And now it's time for us to sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Flynn. Goodbye, Leah. We'll see you again real soon. Goodbye, Kai. Goodbye, Katie. Goodbye, Morgan. We'll see you again real soon. Goodbye, Nora Joe. Goodbye, Parker. 
Goodbye, PJ. We'll see you again real soon. Goodbye, Sienna. Goodbye, backpackers. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you again real soon.